Hi, my name is Dr. Raj Shah. I'm the founder of Math Plus Academy. I know a lot of parents are struggling with being sort of the primary math teacher because our kids are home from school during this crisis. So I want to give you five tips that can really help you navigate this difficult time and manage the stress and so you're not getting into conflicts with your kids about mathematics. Number one, remember that most states have already canceled state testing. So the pressure doesn't have to be on getting through the content as quickly as possible. Just remember to take your time and relax. We're gonna get as far as we can get and that's fine. Number two, when you work on math with your student, if you have it, get a marker board and a marker. It turns out that human beings would rather work on erasable surfaces than paper and pencil or pen because if you get something wrong, it just doesn't feel as safe as if you do it with a marker board. You can always erase mistakes and fix things. It's just a safer way to do things. So, and kids love to just sort of play around with markers and marker boards. So use that as a tool as opposed to pencil and paper if you have it. Number three, do whatever math you're gonna do in small bursts. Kids do not have long attention spans. 10, 15 minutes at a time is plenty. Do that a couple times a day and you'll be fine. Don't try to extend it out to an hour because people lose patience, they get stressed, we get tired, and then conflict happens and we don't want that to happen. Number four, if your child doesn't understand a concept or is struggling with a problem on a workbook or something, try not to tell them what to do, try to ask them lots of questions. What do you notice about this problem? Can you restate the problem in your own words? Could you draw a picture or a diagram? Help them develop the tools to make sense of things on their own rather than just picking up the pencil and saying, look, this is how you do it. Let me show you how it's done. Because when you pick up the pencil, you're doing most of the work and the person who does the work is the person who does the learning. And finally, make the math informal. Do some puzzles, do some problems, play some games. Dig out all those games from the cabinet that you've never played or you don't play often enough. Pull them out. Almost every game you can think of has a mathematical or a problem solving component to it. As you play the game, talk out loud about your strategies and where the math falls. Just have some informal conversations about mathematics. If you do that along with a little bit of routine practice or learning every single day, you'll be doing great. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about doing everything all at once and being the teacher every single day. So I hope those five tips help you. I want to make sure you're having as much fun and enjoyment with mathematics as you can during this difficult time. In addition to that, check our website because I am posting short little videos that are just engaging ways to get kids to do some mathematics and play around with things. They're not necessarily content specific, just meant to engage kids and have fun. And I'm also hosting some Zoom calls where kids can join me for free if they get interested in those videos and we can go deeper into the mathematics. So I'm trying to help you help your kids learn math and not just survive, but actually thrive in this difficult time. All right, take care and be safe.